A professor of history and political science at Tunks' community college for over a decade, Rafael Fierro, like many others, was shocked to see the riots at the United States Capitol on January 6th. I don't know that anyone could have predicted the level of violence and, and the, the closeness with which the, the perpetrators got to these, these political figures. It, it was uh, really hard to believe. He says that moment and the political divide we're seeing are the boiling point of tensions that have been brewing for a while. How did we get to this point? I mean, is this, does this go back to previous administrations? Did we make this huge turn in 2016? Like what yeah. happened? Well, this level of divide certainly predates Donald Trump. Uh, I think it goes back many, many decades. And there are lots of variables that, that factor into it. You have, uh, I think the biggest culprit for me is the rise of social media. What I see there is otherwise decent civil people acting very irresponsibly. And I think it just feeds the flames of this kind of division. Posting your opinions, sharing information or misinformation, all behind a screen and in an instant. While it plays a role, Fierro says we each have a responsibility to do our part in finding political civility. I think if we rely on the political class in Washington, we're going to fall short. We owe it to ourselves to do better in every community, in every locale, and we need to bridge the divide. What we've got to do is self-reflect. This is a time of self-reflection, looking inward and ask ourselves the question, how have I contributed to this division. He runs a civic engagement institute at Tunxis and says it's something he works on with his own students. What we do there is we, uh, we emphasize civility in discourse, in debate. We try to uh, get students to see that there ought to be respect for other people's opinions, regardless of how odious or how off-putting you find those opinions. As far as his concerns for the future, he says they're more long-term and extend past this coming week and the inauguration. I worry about the kinds of things that we saw in the 1990s with militia groups coming into being and, and gaining some power. And they stood for a very stern reaction against the federal government. Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.